I am super excited to tell you guys today that I think I have a solution for dirty nesting boxes like ours and hopefully keep your nesting box cleaner and your eggs cleaner. And I think you guys are gonna like this idea for your nesting boxes. If you look at the eggs, you can see we do have an egg eater in the bunch, which you see cracked yolk. Who's eating the eggs? You? Are you eating the eggs? Is it you? Is it you? Is it you? Sometimes I don't think necessarily they want to eat the eggs, but I think it's cracking. We have a metal down here, and I think sometimes they just crack on it, especially with it now getting cold and hot. <laughs> The first thing we gotta do is get these eggs out of the nesting box, and then we're gonna measure each nesting box, and to get ready to put in what I think will be something that is going to be a game changer for your nesting box. What do you want? Huh, you eat an egg? Now it's time to see if they're gonna fit. Cause this right here is gonna keep the nesting box cleaner and the eggs cleaner. And I am excited to get this in there cause I am over having dirty nesting box and eggs. Let's see if it fits. This wasn't one of those things that it was just like, I knew this is what I wanted to do. This is the best idea. I was in a resale store, and then when I walked in there, I saw this fake thing of grass. I looked at it and I figured this is probably for somebody for like golfing maybe, to like set up a tee. But then the idea hit me and I said, why not cut these things up and be able to place them inside your nesting box just like this. I like the idea that all we have to do is that when they get dirty now, we can take them out and hose them down if they get really dirty which was definitely a benefit because you can't do that with normal just straw or shavings. You gotta clean it all out each time. So this should save us time for cleaning out the nesting box. And I also like that it's gonna be like a cushion for them to lay those eggs on. I'm hoping that the eggs aren't gonna crack on them. So now this will save us from having the egg eaters because I think the reason that happens sometimes is that as soon as a crack gets in there, they smell it and they start just pecking that egg till it breaks. I don't think they try to break eggs normally. Now what we gotta do is wait here and see if we see some eggs on it. I'm not gonna tell you guys to do this unless I see an egg on here. So let's give the girls some time to lay here and see if they're gonna do it. All right guys, lay some eggs there, okay? I wanna make this sure this is a good idea. Don't run away, I'm trying to talk to you. I want you guys to lay eggs. I laid the eggs down here on the ground while I was in there doing the nesting boxes. And I don't think this is how many I had in there. Here's seven eggs. I think something happened to some of them. Bailey, drop it. Bailey, drop it. Were you getting an egg? That's no Bailey. Well, that's some, but I feel like there should be more around here. Oh. I found one. <laughs> All right, there's another one. I'm gonna have to go back and look at the video. We'll see how many are supposed to be in here. This is, what, nine? Yeah, nine. This is what happens when you leave your eggs down and you feed your dogs farm fresh eggs. I have nine in here and we just looked back at the video footage and there should be 11. So, there's two more eggs laying around our backyard somewhere. Not sure we're gonna find those. Looks like I was wrong. Here's a light brown shell and here's a darker brown. So, that would be number 10 and number 11. And that's why you don't leave your eggs unintended. It's been about a little over an hour. I don't know if they're gonna be an egg in there yet, but, but I figured we'd just come out and check anyways. It is a cold day. And the chickens, if you see, they are using their warm hut that I made. How you guys doing? Is that keeping you nice and toasty? Hi there. Are you sitting on an egg? Oh, yes you are. I see an egg. Good job. No eggs. No. Oh, and here's another one. Ooh, this one still feels kind of warm. All right, that makes me super happy to see. 
It is about 2.30, and I think we probably already had a few of them lay, so we're probably not gonna get many more eggs than that. But it makes me happy to see that they're accepting them right away, because any of you guys have chickens can understand that sometimes they can be very picky. So if that's your chickens, by the way, and you wanna change to this method, I think the one's still in here. Oh, you changed boxes. Was this not your egg? Sorry is that you can make one of your nesting boxes not have that for the time being just to see how they adjust and give them at least the one option that they don't have to. This is what I really like is that if there is any kind of dusting on these or they look a little dirty, all you gotta do is grab it out, shake it off, and put it back in. And this egg appears super clean. Can't tell if that's just by chance or not yet. I know, you're getting cold. All right, let me close it up. I'd call that a win though. I think this is gonna keep our nesting box super clean and I think the eggs are gonna be even cleaner. Although I do understand they come out of a spot of the chicken that isn't the cleanest spot in the world. I mean, they do come out of this. But I think the cleaner you keep your nesting boxes, obviously the cleaner your eggs are gonna turn out as well. For any of you guys thinking about doing this idea, go ahead and try it out. I give it the check mark, it's working out. Face. Well, how we try to make a nice clean spot for those chickens so they can lay eggs? Kind of hard to make clean spots for the pigs. They like to tear things up and make it look a little messier. Although, I would say they're a lot cleaner than what people think. You guys enjoy that. It's getting to be the end of the day, so the chickens are doing their little last little bit of like being scavengers, looking around, see if they can find anything else here on the ground. I figured I'd come out here just one last time to see if there's any other eggs other than the three that we had in there when we just checked probably about a few hours ago. I'm not sure if we will though. One, zero, two, three, four. Uh, this one's a new one. And this one looks clean. These two look clean. I would say all four of those look really clean. Well, there we go. I don't know, I can't tell. Maybe these chickens just had clean butts. But I'm happy to see that we have four eggs in there and we also have four really clean eggs. One of the big things that really used to bother me about all the eggs is how dirty all of our eggs were getting. If I went inside the house right now and showed you guys all the eggs that we've collected over these past few weeks, there would probably be at least half of them, if not more of them that either have poop all over them, or just feathers, or pieces of just bedding stuck on them. Obviously our cracked eggs, which get yolk onto them, that doesn't make anything easier and makes all the eggs around those start going gross. So if this can protect our eggs from cracking and staying nice and clean, I am gonna be super ecstatic. Right now, it's working perfect. Ah oh, man, <laughs> I guess I gotta show you guys this. But this is those things, like I said, chickens, they can be a little complicated sometimes. We have one in here. And it's dirty. So almost perfect. But that's why I was trying to tell you guys earlier is that chickens, especially trying to adjust to something brand new, they might not like it right away. So it looks like one of the chickens way back there decided to lay inside the coop, but, but that's okay. If we already got four of them inside that nesting box and only one inside the coop, it'll just take some time. What I will do though to make sure that other chickens start to hopefully lay in the nesting box is I'm not gonna rush to take these eggs out today because I wanna make sure that these chickens understand where they're gonna lay. So I'm gonna leave those eggs in there to promote the other ones to lay in there tomorrow. And I'm curious to see that the more eggs that lay in there to see how dirty they get, are they gonna crack? But right now, I'm just really happy about how this has turned out. I've been looking for a solution to this problem for a very long time, and I'm happy that it happened. You know, some things just happen for a reason, right? I went into that resale store, I found that piece of fake grass, and it just clicked in my head. So I think you guys should try this one out. I think you guys are gonna like it. You guys have a great day and a better tomorrow, and of course, we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.